Hi, in today's video we're going to take a look at assembling and setting up the single bar feeder assembly. The first step in the process is to get your base assemblies in a, a, a good general location. You can kind of measure out, you know, lay the bars out and you know, kind of get an idea of roughly where they should go. Next step is going to be to put the uh, spindle liner in the pedestals itself. Next step in the process is to align the spindle of, or the center bore of this with the center bore of the lathe spindle. So we remove this socket head cap screw at the back here and we're going to thread a safety wire through so we can grab a piece of nylon string basically and align the two. It makes it real easy to see the difference in height and uh, concentricity in the two bores. So now that we've threaded it through the bore of the bar feeder, we're going to do the same thing with the uh, spindle bore. It helps a little bit if you open the access door. Uh, just gives yourself a little more light and a little more space. And we're going to do the exact same thing. We're just going to thread it through here now. So now that we've pulled the safety wire through, or the guide wire, we're going to attach the, you know, lighter gauge, basically a vinyl string, and this will be what we actually align the two bores with. Now we're just reversing the process, and we're going to pull the guide wire back away from the machine and pull the uh, alignment wire through. So now that we have our alignment wire through the spindle, uh, we're going to thread it through the supplied bushing. This is keep it on center. Just thread it through and you know just tie a knot just so it doesn't come free. Lock it in our chuck. And that will keep it in the center line of the lay spindle. Now we just align the two. Okay, so now we have our alignment string through both the spindle bore of the lathe itself and the bar feeder. So now we're going to put some tension on it to see where we can actually, uh, how we need to adjust. So you'll notice that our string is just a sitting below center line and a little off to the right. So now we've got to make adjustments to bring that into, you know, the spindle center line. So first thing is to go ahead and lock the liner in place so it's not moving. And then we'll adjust the pedestals to bring it in right, you know, from right to left. So after we have the two bores of the bar feeder itself and the spindle center line aligned properly, uh, we fix the pedestal bases to the concrete floor. To align the bar feeder in the vertical plane, loosen the lock nuts and socket head cap screws. And then you have 
a fine adjustment lever uh, where, that raises you know each end of the bar feeder assembly up or down so you want to get it in you know level plane just like you did left to right uh, and once that's in position then simply reverse lock the socket head cap screw down and then you know a wrench to lock the lock screws so now we're just releasing the guide wire from the back of the machine and we're going to pull it out through the front through the front guide bushing here now that our spindle bores are aligned properly our pedestals are fixed to the floor now we're going to start actually making connections and we'll start with hydraulics first. Uh, the hydraulic feed tube has a straight and a curved end. The straight end actually hooks to the bar feeder cylinder itself. Once that's tight, the, the clear tube comes next and the clear tube is actually the pressure, pressure sensing uh, tube. So insert the tube over the flange. Now those two connections are the only ones we need up top, but we have to connect the other ends down in the cabinet itself. The next step is choosing the appropriate liner and that obviously has to do with the size bar you plan on pushing through. Uh, we're just going to do one for demonstration. So. Once that's in place, then we lock this lock nut to keep that from turning and in the proper position. And we also need to put the oil feed return box on there. This just collects all the hydraulic oil from the end of the tube and recirculates it back to the pump. And once that's in place, we lock our assembly back down lock those two thumb screws and get into automatic mode on the machine Sidebar. 